me. You ain't got no drawers on. Spiritual. This is my last baby, and I am never going to experience this miracle again. Oh, here comes another contraction. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, 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 ah. Well, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> Hillary, honey, don't be so dramatic. My hand. All right, all right, it's cool. It's cool. Everything cool, everything. Everything cool. All right, check it out. Um, um, all right, girl, you boil some water. Um, Ashley, you go get some blankets. Um, Hillary, you uh, cir circle the wagons. Hey, honey, what are you talking about? I wish to God I knew, Anvis. Mom, I think what Will is referring to is. Ah! 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 Oh my God! All the pains are getting closer. Hilton, honey, get up off the floor. My hand! What is wrong with everybody? Philip! Put on your damn pants and let's go! Uh, hey, Aunt hey, Viv, I want to go too. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. You know I could really use somebody to hold my hand. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b-ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I whistled for a cab and when it came near, the license plate said, fresh and it a dice in the mirror. If anything, I can say...